Hey guys, in this video we will be revisiting Merida and Valladolid. I was here one and a half years ago and let's start in Valladolid. From Tulum I got an ADO bus back to Valladolid. Hey guys, I have stayed at the Oryx Hostel uh, for the past few nights and for the last night they have moved me to this twin room uh, with another girl from my previous dorm room because the AC wasn't really working there and the one here is. In general, I think the vibes were so better back at La Cuarenta y Ocho, where I was two years ago, um, but it is still a really good hostel and the breakfast was really great. Every morning there was a buffet with fresh fruit, toast, hummus and cottage cheese with honey, accompanied of course by some tea and coffee. I was in Valladolid two years ago and I made a video about everything I did around the city. Don't forget to check out this video. This time around, I spent the hot afternoons editing my videos, but in the evening, I joined the hostel on the free walking tour. I hadn't done this the previous time I was here, probably because they weren't running due to the pandemic. We met on the main square where a Mayan performance was going on, before starting our walk along the most significant buildings in the city center. We learned about a very Mayan product, honey. We got to try a few different kinds, which I found interesting because my grandparents are beekeepers, but when our next stop was another honey producer, the others got slightly bored by the commerciality of the tour. The next stop was this Mayan traditional house, which once again sold different Mayan products. All of this was located between the main square and the old convent. At the convent there is usually a light show in the evening but it was broken at the moment. So I got distracted by the open top bus and a local party on the square nearby. I walked back passing some of the most beautiful shops along the same street. <laughs> Before making it back to the center at El Tigrillo, the most popular street vendor of Valladolid, selling the best cochinita pibil, a typical Mayan dish from the Yucatan region. These tacos were amazing. I also tried the best ice cream in town at Wabi Sabi. Of course, I got pineapple, mango and dark chocolate. The hostel organized more activities like game night that turned into a girls' night out at La Mescaleria. I got another bus the next day to Merida, the capital of Yucatan. I was there two years ago as well and made an elaborate video about all I did in and around the city. This time I stayed at Casa Carsa, a brand new hostel and one of the best ones I've stayed in so far. It is located in a stunning colonial house with lots of gardens, two kitchens, many bathrooms, even including this shampoo and conditioner. You could even find mosquito repellent in different corners of the building. And in the morning, there was an entire breakfast buffet with a different warm dish every day and Mexican baked goods. It was so good. The most special inhabitant was by far this cool tortoise. I had two big reasons for coming back to Merida, my friend Selene and some of my favorite food in Mexico. First stop was Marlene Azul where I had my favorite meal of all time, their shrimp fajitas. I was honestly bursting with happiness. I went for a walk through the city and went looking for some souvenirs since this was almost the last stop of my trip. Las Tostadillas del Mar is another one of my favorites and I think these images speak for themselves. Then it was time to reunite with Selene at El Lucero, a bar that serves you a whole table of free food with each drink that you get. I thought that the reggaeton video clips in the background of the live salsa music was really funny. And after no more than two drinks, we were absolutely stuffed. It's a good way to try some Yucatecan classic food. We ended our night at Dick's, the most popular drag bar in town. The next day we met up on the main square and a lot was going on, from performances to an artisan market and even a Mayan ball game. ended at the Mezcaleria with a free mezcal cocktail and these big jugs that they are popular for. 
there was some more live music here as well. That is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Then definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.